Hi folks! Today we're going to go through a uh, rigger's tool bag and see some of the tools we use to work on a traditionally rigged boat. So we're just going, we've borrowed a bag from my friend Holly and we're just going to see what's in it. It's going to be fun. So, uh, first I have a block. Normally uh, a lot of people would call it a pulley. You put rope through it to kind of guide that rope around a turn. It also helps if you rig up a tackle, you have mechanical advantage to lift things, move things that you otherwise wouldn't be able to use. All right, what's in here? This is a fun little take it with you on your hip bag. Very stylish, definitely this color season. It contains chemical resistant gloves and goggles because these are always important things that you need to wear anytime you're working with anything even slightly scary. In the main bag, we have this guy, which is super fun. This is a mallet that you use to just gently boop things to get them to move where you want to be. This one's particularly cool because it has a hole drilled out in the center. There is a lead ingot in there and it's capped again so you can use it. It's really neat. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it's pretty cool. This is a marlin spike. It is sort of um, a largish marlin spike. They come in sizes from about yay big up to about here. Um, this one is mine and I particularly use it when I'm splicing wire. It's got a very dainty point on it, which makes it really good for getting in between the lays, the strands of a, a piece of wire rope. This one is pretty cool. It is a heaving mallet. Um, it's a really interesting design. So what you do is you wrap string around the main part of the heaving mallet and then you can twist the mallet to get that string extra, extra tight. It's pretty cool. I've never used this one. I've seen Holly use it and it's really neat. Let's see. Ooh. We have a series of weirdo mallets. I love these. These are called serving mallets and they have sort of a moon chunk taken out of them. So they look like a little crescent moon. And that is because string, uh, our ropes are typically round. And so it fits the curvature of the rope and what you can do is you can use this to serve the rope and that's when we put a protective layer of string all up and down a rope. Um, it's called serving and it, it works as chafe gear and as sun protection for the rope underneath. What else have we got? Okay. Up next we have a couple of really cool things. Um, we have obnoxious duct tape so that when you see something wrong but you don't have the tools on your body to fix it, you can mark it and come back to it and it's easy to find. It also is really handy for marking your stuff. Um, this guy right here is a palm. It's like a thimble for doing um, canvas work. It's got a metal piece in here called the thimble and you push a sail needle through multiple layers of heavy sailcloth. This one is Holly's so it's um, too small for me because she has dainty hands. Alright, this right here is a Swedish fid. Now a fid is sort of like a marlin spike except that it's generally made of wood and it's used to splice fiber rope as opposed to wire. Marlin sparks, spikes are for wire, fids are for fiber. This guy is a Swedish fid and a Swedish fid has a groove cut out of it along the length so that when you shove it between the strands of a piece of rope you have a little opening there where you can shove whatever you're trying to splice. It makes splicing um, particularly on braided things a lot easier. Let's see. So also in the bag we have a number of different methods of measuring things. I believe Holly has a teeny tiny sewing kit here in a Sucrets container. It's got needles and thread and a little bit of twine. Very cool. Love this idea. Gonna have to make one. And highlighters, pens, and a pencil. Alright folks, so that is the highlights of what you might find in a riggers tool bag. Uh, riggers and sailors in general all, also almost always wear a knife so that you can cut things if you have to. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for joining us.